and naturally Rhonda here. For all my old time subscribers, I love you, love you so much. Thank you for coming back to watch my videos. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, please stay a while and check out some of my other content. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then click that button down below and subscribe. I will be doing a flexi rod set on my natural hair. I've done one of these before, except my hair was straightened. So my hair is curly now. Let's see how this goes. My hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned and detangled. Now I saw a video. I don't know how to pronounce her name here on YouTube. I'll put her name down below, but she did it using only eight flexi rods. So I was like, what? But now looking at my rods, I think that her flexi rods were longer than mine. So I might need to use a few more. I have 12 rods like this size. So maybe I'll use 12 of them instead of eight. She sectioned her hair into four sections. So that's what I did. I will be using Nourish and Shine Frizz Less Foaming Curl Primer. This came in my September, I believe it was, curl box. Okay, this is my first section. I'm thinking three pumps. I'm actually gonna go in with a fourth. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush and just brush this through. Okay, now I'm gonna split this in half. So she said to take your flexi rod and make it into like this U shape. And then put it like this around your hair and then kind of just wrap your hair going around. And because her flexi rods are longer than mine i'm not going to be able to do it that same way unfortunately but i'm going to just try to maybe put this one like that right and then to just kind of hold that there and then still wrap the hair around twisting as i go and then secure it like this maybe please excuse the squeaking i'm not in my normal filming setup so i'm sitting on a folding chair a very old folding chair okay let's go with the next section Maybe I went a little too heavy on it. This one, eh, what are you gonna do? Ooh, but look at those curls. Mm. <laughs> Okay, this is what my first two are looking like. So I just used two of these for half of one of my quarters. So I just did the math and I do not have enough to do all of them this size. I have this whole bag of them. I think I'm gonna do these four really big ones for the back. And then the other eight will be these ones. Unfortunately, I couldn't do the eight flexi rod only set, but that's fine. I honestly don't know how I feel about this foam or maybe I'm not supposed to be brushing my hair after I put it in. I don't know. Maybe for the next one, I'm gonna try to not brush my hair after putting it in because that doesn't feel great if I'm being honest. So I'm just taking a flexi rod and then I just kind of hook it a little bit on one end. Then I'm going to my root or as close as you can get. And then I'm twisting it around the rod. Okay. 
and then just twist it in. This is the first quarter of my head. I'm gonna go now because this chair is squeaking way too much for me and I feel like the audio is gonna be trash because of it. I'm going to sleep in these and I'll see what it's like. Hopefully it's fully dry by maybe tomorrow afternoon. I have somewhere to go tomorrow evening. I'm excited to see the results. Now it's time for the takedown. Hopefully it's all dry. It feels pretty dry. And hopefully if any parts aren't dry, they still look cute enough. <laughs> okay, here goes. I'm just untwisting this or uncurling or unfolding or whatever. And then I'm just bringing it down. Okay, okay. First one's not looking bad. All of the flexi rods are out and this is what it's looking like. As you can see, this didn't curl, it didn't dry enough. And um, that was a fail. I know what I need to do next time. One, I wanna see if I can find those longer flexi rods. Two, I'm gonna do some more research and see what other products would work better for this. Do you do flexi rods on your natural hair? If so, what products work for you? It had some potential for sure, but next time I'm definitely leaving it in for longer. I slept in it overnight and I felt like that would be good, but clearly not. <laughs> I'm Gonna look in the mirror more to see if there's anything I can salvage from this, but at least just looking through the camera right now, and granted, I don't have my glasses on, so y'all probably see my hair better than I do right now. It's just looking like, like a blob, like nothing really to it. What do y'all think? So I just went with the slick back style, as you can see. I think it looks pretty good, and this is, my go-to either I don't feel like doing my hair, I don't feel like washing my hair, or I had a style fail like today. I'll do a slick back or a bun, something like that. If you would like to see how I do these type of styles, I will link them up above over here. I love you for watching, y'all. Please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.